Hi everyone. Um, I just wanted to show you, if you're an iRacing fan, if you do a lot of racing uh, and you have two computers around like I do and maybe an iPad, um, I wanted to show you how you can use a piece of software called uh, Z1 Dashboard from Z1SimWheel.com and you can display multiple dashboards, track maps, uh, all kinds of different data and telemetry, uh, uh, how to display that data, which is normally native to a PC, uh, show you how to display it on your iPad. Um, again, this requires, I have uh, two computers. I have a gaming computer and I have a secondary computer that uh, primarily uses as a, as a TeamSpeak server. Um, and what you can do with this software is it contains uh, three programs actually, the Z1 dashboard, which displays all the information, uh, the dashboards and weather information, some telemetry data, things like that. Z1 Analyzer, which allows you to sort of look at the data and uh, you know where your breaking points are, where you're getting on the gas, uh, things like that. And this Z1 Server. Uh, Z1 Server is really the key here. Um, it's going to, what that does is it will send your data, your iRacing data, uh, to another remote computer so you can actually display that data um, running uh, Z1 dashboard on another computer. Um, so if you just have two computers you could uh, set it up next to it. Um, I actually don't like doing that because I have a setup that I move around a lot. Um, I'm actually showing you on a on a large screen that I use for movies and stuff and I have a, my iRacing rig is on wheels so that I can move it around. Um, and shuffle it out of the way when I want to watch movies or TV on the, uh, on the projector. Um, so I, and I typically don't have a monitor hooked up to that second machine and I don't want to have to move a monitor back and forth. It's just too cumbersome. Um, so what we can do is we can run this software Z1, uh, server. We're going to turn off the hints and it's going to say that it's not connected to the SIM right now. We are not connected to iRacing right now, so we're not transmitting any data. It's going to give you your local IP address and port number. Um, and what you're going to do is use this information to plug into your uh, remote computer. Now, how am I going to access my remote computer? I'm going to use my iPad and I'm going to use uh, a remote desktop client that is, I believe this is downloadable for free from the App Store. And what you do with this is you configure your uh, your remote desktop connection. So you make sure that remote, des remote desktop is enabled on your secondary PC that you're going to remote to. And you're going to plug in the name or the IP address into this software and it will allow you to connect to that. So here we are. We're connecting. And we're gonna wait a second here, and there we go. So now it's brought up. And so this, it shows you your, your screen and will actually use touch controls. Uh, so it's some things you'll have to double tap, things like that. So this is, um, I'm viewing and controlling my secondary computer. And as you can see, I have Z1 dashboard installed on that computer. So I'm actually controlling a PC uh, from a Mac device right now, uh, just like as if I was sitting in front of it, only not using a mouse and a keyboard. This is cool. It will allow you to pop up a keyboard so you can input things. You can use that keyboard. You can use the native Mac keyboard if you're comfortable with that. Pretty slick little program. Uh, and like I said, I believe it's free. I don't think it costs anything. Um, so you have to have your Z1 dashboard installed on your secondary computer as well. So we have that. Um, so we're going to pop that open. Close this keyboard. Sorry. And double tap on that. Maybe. There we go. Alright, so now it says it's waiting uh, because it's connected to the server. It says Z1 server. And if we look back over here, we see now it's connected to the client. It's transmitting data, but it's not connected to the sim. So what we have to do now is start iRacing. And I was already in a session, so I'm going to have to rejoin one here. And we're just it's going to do a test session here to show you guys. So it's going to connect. 
you're going to see this is going to connect. Sorry, that's just my projector. It flickers as it's changing resolutions and flipping over to uh, display eye racing. I've got a, an HD projector uh, that I picked up used. Uh, it's a great little number uh, by Optoma. Highly recommend it. Um, okay, so now we are in iRacing. We're just going to do a test session here and I'm gonna show you what happens here. So it's gonna recognize that who I am, what car I'm in. Uh, it's gonna give me some initial stats you can Go in here, you can set up all kinds of customizations. There's all kinds of different dashboards that you can choose from. So like I said, you could have, if you're in a, an Xfinity car like I am, you could have a Formula One dash if you wanted to. Uh, not sure why you would want that, but um, you can add several dashes. I've got three different ones right now. So I've got timing and scoring on screen one. Uh, some gauges on screen two and a track map on screen three and I'll show you what those look like here in a second so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit test and you're gonna see now it's on a timing and scoring screen if you tap the screen it'll switch over now it's on a track map it's giving you lap timing fuel and it will calculate your fuel for you based on your settings and you can see here it's actually got a, a dash see that's pretty well coordinated with um, what I'm seeing on screen so you could use this instead of the dash that displays on screen um, I primarily use it for things like this so I've got my lap timing I've got uh, my position as well as when you're on track it will show you other people's position on track um, it, and it gives you your position your laps and how much fuel you're gonna need to finish and how much fuel you have as well as the number of laps left based on an, uh, a lap average that you can uh, set in the software. So I find all this really handy, especially if you're running a lot of laps or if you're running a uh, like a super speedway race and you're really watching fuel and try to see how long you can stretch it. Um, it's really useful. It's uh, great for road courses as well. Um, and I keep this you know, right over my shifter uh, where I can just glance down and take a look at it when I'm racing. Uh, it's a, a G29 wheel and pedals. That's a G27 shifter um, with the um, adapter to make it a standalone USB. So I didn't have to buy the additional shifter for the G29. I thought that was a little crazy. Um, and I retain all the button functionality, which is cool to do that. But that is how you use uh, an iPad. Uh, with Z1 dashboard and Z1 server software uh, and iRacing together to display all that data on your iPad uh, as almost like a secondary monitor. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, go ahead and like it and I will try to do more hints, tips, things like that um, that you might find useful for iRacing. Thanks and have a great day.